Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our other class of learning databases. So in the previous class we looked at, uh, we got introduction to databases, we understood why we need databases in our web applications and also we saw uh, introduction of databases. We went ahead and set up the environment for databases. For example, we set up uh, my SQL uh, database on our computers. We went ahead and started um, my SQL. We set up the PHP admin. We went and created our first database. And then also we created a what our first table in the databases. So I hope at this level you can, you are able, you, are, you understand what is meant by database. You can create your own database as well as uh, creating at least one table of what? one table in a what in a database so from there it's we're going to proceed from and uh, i hope you're ready to take it over from here with me so if you are then let's get started so in the very first place you can see i've opened this file where i'll be writing these asql that i'll be that i'll share with you so i'm also going to open here the database uh, interface that I'm going to be using to practice this one. So this is the, the database that we created to yesterday or in the previous video which is called practice and uh, we created a single table there called also practice. So you can create a table at the same time it is having the same name as a what as the database so it's not wrong but this is a table of what of users okay. So at the same time, let us go ahead and uh, recreate this table so that we can... Uh, nope, we will not create that table again. We already have it, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and now proceed from there, okay? We're going to proceed from there. So the next thing that we're going to learn today, you're going to learn how to insert data into this table that we created yesterday. So there are two ways, there are three ways in fact of how you can insert data into this table. So the first way you can use the interface itself. So I hope everyone can be on this point, can reach here. You can install your PHP, your ZAMP, you can start your PHP admin, you can start my SQL, and then you can also create a database and also you can reach up to this level. This is my PHP admin. So now this is the, data, the table that we, the database and the table that we get yesterday. So today we're going to learn how to insert their data. So to do that, uh, the first way you can use the interface. So to use the interface is just first go to the uh, to the database and then you click on the what or the table that you want to insert data in, and then you click on what on insert. So when you click on the insert, they'll give you an interface where you can uh, punch in data. For example, here they say the ID, you can fill it here. They ask us uh, the name, you can fill it here. The age, you can fill it here, and then after you click on go insert this data into the what into the database but there is also another way now the sql way or inserting data and using what using sql and that's the most important today so let's go ahead and learn how to insert data into the what into the database so to insert data into the database you have to write a what you have to write a query so first of one first of all there is a uh, when you want to insert everything in the what in the table as it is here for example the id the the name the age and the i mean the, the name the age the sex and the country so if you want to do that uh first of all you have to know how your data is organized okay you have to know how your data is organized and then later you go ahead and write the what the sql that will allow you to insert data into this one so the other way is uh, to specify the columns that you want to insert data into or in and then after you create the what the sql so let's begin with the better way which is uh, to insert data by specifying the what the column that you want to insert into so to do that i'll just simply come here and write a comment uh, remember this file i'm just writing it to do what uh, to keep the records for you so that uh, i can share it with you so i'm going to put here insert data so to insert data we say you can you write the uh, the insert keyword like this insert and then you put the word into and then you specify the what the table as i said the keywords it's better to keep them in capital then um the tables uh the the, the, the the names of variables you you, you specify them by your what by your name so you say insert into and then here you specify the table name for example our table is called practice okay 
uh, in small letters and then after you open the brackets like this and then close them okay so after open the bracket like that and then close them the next thing you'll have to specify is the columns in which you want to insert data into in so for example we say the id is a primary key as we saw here is a primary key and it will automatically be increasing okay auto increment so you may not need to insert into the id why because id it is automatically increasing so for this id you may leave it then the next thing we have to specify what you want to insert into for example want to insert into the name then comma will enter the edge okay then the next thing will enter the what will enter the six and then the country okay so these are the things that you're going to do what to insert into in. so after do after specifying the 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 column that you want to insert data the next thing you have to write uh outside this bracket make sure that at the end of this you don't have a word you don't have a comma so the next thing here you have to write uh, the word values in capital letters like this values okay then you open bracket and close it like uh, like this then you arrange the values of this according to the way you organized them here okay you arrange the values you're going to insert into these columns according to the way you organize them here so for example the first value that you said it is a name for example i can begin with my name Mohindo barak and then the next uh thing is the age so you remember age is an integer so an integer you don't need to surround it with what with quotes you can leave it even the way it is by writing for example 45 so it means that it will begin with the name and put in this column then the age of 45 and put in this column then the next thing is the what is a sex so sex is a character is a character so i can put male and then after we can put the country for example i can put here uganda and then at the end of the day at the end of the column you put a what a semicolon so that is how we do what that's how we write a command that inserts data into the what into the database or the sql so let's go ahead and insert this i mean let's go ahead and execute this into the database and you see how it will insert the data so to do that i'll come to our interface and then i click on the database that uh, i'm interested in which is this one and then i'll go ahead and click remember we already have one table you see this practice table but this practice table is empty there is nothing there okay so i'm going to go ahead and uh and do what and run this sql by simply clicking on first making sure i click on the right database then i click on what on sql so i grab whatever thing was there and i paste there the sql insert into this and this and then that's just we've written it okay so it should not be having an error then you go ahead and click on the go so when you click on the go you see inserted a uh, row id1 and then it took this number of seconds so if you click on uh, practice table right now you'll be able to see that your data has been inserted into the table of practices so which is really great so you can see id1 this is automatically increased from 0 to 1 and then we inserted the name and then the age the sex and the country so let's do that one more time and then we see how we can proceed so we say that you say insert into uh then you specify the table practice and then you open bracket and close it and then you specify the columns that you need to insert into age and then sex and then country then after specifying the columns outside it you put values like this values and then you open the bracket and then put semicolon at the end so after doing that you come then back to this in a uh, bracket and then you start specifying uh, the values that you're going to enter in this uh, table according to the columns and how according to the arrangement of the columns that you made in this first bracket so the first arrangement for example you can say uh Boambale, this is my young brother uh Bale, okay then the next thing is to enter his age for example i can say 35 4 and then i and remember the integer you don't specify you don't put the quotes eh? only strings you put the quotes so the next thing is sex for example i can say male and then the next thing is what is country i can say maybe kenya 
Then I'll go ahead and copy this one, this SQL, okay? I'll copy it, okay? So after copying it, I come and run it here, okay? I come and run it here. So click on practice, and then you see we already have one query. I mean one record. So click on SQL here, and then paste it, eh? And press control and enter to run it. So if it successfully enters, and then you click on practice, then you can see uh, we have what? We have... The second table here i mean we have the second record that has been inserted into a what into our table so that is literally how we insert data into database tables if you want to learn more you can come to the blue three schools come to sql and then come to to watch to insert okay come to insert it too and then here you can get enough notes of uh, how you can insert data into the table example this is how we do it in the first style so this is the second style you just don't specify you see this is the second style just see here carefully this is the first style insert into the table name then you specify the columns the one that we are using and then you put the values and then you specify the values but there's another style whereby you can just simply say insert into then you specify the table and then put values without specifying the columns eh? so in this style the second one you must uh, fill all the information. I mean, you must fill all the rows. I mean, all the columns that are there in the what in the table, and you arrange it as how they are here. So this is kind of dangerous. Why? Because if you misarrange the columns, then it will not work. I mean, you'll you'll end up uh, having wrong data, whereby one column has been inserted into another column. The other thing is. Uh, this one for this style you must insert into all the columns that are available to the what into the on uh, that are available in the table so it means that um, if you're going to insert a few records for example we didn't we were not inserting one well, if you're going to insert a few columns for example you remember we, we were not inserting into the id we were not ins uh, inserting into the id or uh, because the id was not incrementing then it means that this style will not be applicable okay I mean this style will not be applicable why because you're entering into uh you you're going to leave one so it mean that you have to specify also the id and remember if you enter duplicates of the id the query will not work okay you'll get an error of uh, entering multiple um uh primary keys okay so this is how we insert this is an example and then you can see what uh uh, this is another example. You can see then uh, the data was go was inserted into the what into the table. So in simple terms, that is how we literally insert data into the what into the tables. So to save time, I'm going to insert here some dummy data. I have here some dummy names that you're going to use to do what to practice. Eh? I'm going to insert them into the table that you're going to use to practice. So I'll copy them, and then I'll come here, and then and paste them then i'm going to duplicate this query and use that to do what to insert this data so i'm going to insert this person here and i'll simply come here and paste here his name and paste here his age and maybe say here this female and then say maybe this person comes from rwanda so let me just pause the video so that i can insert them offline and i don't waste much of your time so i've uh, created here some sqls you can look at them this just they're nothing but sql for inserting okay insert into this then age and then the values i mean then the the columns and then after the values and then these are the values we have got here some names and then the sex and then uh the what the country so i've put semicolon at the end of the, each line to separate uh two different what two different uh sql commands so you can uh, also pause the video and create your own eh? you can pause the video and create your own so these are the ones that i've just created so what i'm going to do i'm now going to execute them so that uh, i can do what i can uh uh, have these columns inserted into my what into my table so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that so i'll just simply copy uh, all of these new ones that i've just created okay so i'm going to execute all of them at once by the way that is also 
possible so i'll just simply come to our database and then i click on what on uh, the create database and then i click on sql and then from here i'm going to paste there the commands these are the commands okay so after pasting there the command i'll go ahead and click on the go to do that to get them inserted so you can see all the commands were inserted successfully it means that now if i click on the my on my table of practice i can see all the commands and all the names that are done what that have been inserted so i hope you can do that and uh, you can see different names different uh countries okay so this is really great so pause the video please and uh, do that right now okay so after inserting the data so it means that we have learned how to do what how to insert the data into what into sql so now we can proceed to another thing okay okay in my book so we're going to proceed now to select so select is a command that we use to collect data from what from the databases okay so uh the next thing that you're going to learn is now how to uh select this data from what from um, the database so we have learned how to insert the data into the what into the table so the next thing is how to access that data so to access that data from the database uh, or from the tables we use a command called what called select so select you write it like this so these sqls will be there and i'll share them with you so i'm going to put here select command Okay, or select SQL. So the syntax of writing select. So the select, as I've said, select will help us to collect the data from uh, the tables and then display it or work with it. So if you want uh, to select the data from the table to display data that is in the table that you just inserted, use this command of, uh, of select and this is how we write it. Just write that select and then you specify uh, the columns that you want to display okay you specify the columns that you want to display for example if you want to display all the columns you put a star okay then after doing that uh you specify the table and to before you specify the table you say from so this from it means that you're going to select all the columns from and then you specify the what that table so we're going to select from what from the practice table Okay, select all from this tab, we call it all. Eh? So this means that uh, we have written just a simple command which says select all from what? From the practice table. So this one, this this command is going to get for us all the records that are in the practice table and do what? And display them for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just simply come here and say, uh, click on the right database and then click on what? On SQL so i'll just come and paste here select all from practice okay so when i click on go you can see these are the results you see showing zero up to 17 and they will go for you 18 records so here we are able to get all information in our table all the ids all the names all the age the sex and the what and the country and you are able to do what to access it so that is how we write a command that is going to display or that is going to collect the whole data that in a what in a particular table select all from the specific table and then when you click on go it will do what it will get for you everything in that particular table so i hope you have understood how we can select the data from what from specific tables so after doing that now the next thing we're going to learn now how to select specific columns for example here we just selected uh, all the columns okay so if you want to select specific columns for example we want the name and the age okay so to do that uh, you just simply say uh, select and then you specify the columns that you want to select for example i can say the name and and then you separate them with a comma and then age 
okay then after from you write from and then you specify the table that you want to select from so this command means that we are selecting the name and the age from this practice table so if i copy this command and i come and paste it you see here i have every column eh? every column is there so i'll come and run it uh let me zoom out uh by simply clicking on sql and then rub everything that was there paste there select name and age name age and separated the comma from the practice press enter then you'll be able to see that we have selected uh the names and the ages of what of people still you can even select even uh, maybe only the names only okay or you can select only the name and the country okay for example you want to do that just simply come and say uh select name comma and country and maybe age you can even change the organization and then after you say uh from okay from and then you specify the table practice okay then copy it and then run it so you can see you're selecting uh the name the country and the age okay from the practice table so and that's why we've got okay we've got the name the a the account and the age and this is how we wrote our what our sql so in simple terms that is how you select and collect data from what from tables if you want to learn more just simply come to w3 skills you'll to get the notes that you do what that you may need we're having select and the select information is there we're selecting specific columns and selecting everything that's all you need to know about uh, basic selection or basic collection of data from what uh from the, uh, the that's the sql of selecting what data from what from the tables so the next thing that we're going to look at today is the conditioning okay conditioning sometimes it is very most of the time it is very you we don't need all the data from the what from the tables so you may need to give some conditions so that you can achieve exactly what you want for example if you want uh, only male users or male only male users then what do you do if you want only females if you want uh people who are at the specific age maybe who had uh, who, who are having uh, uh greater than age or less than age something like that so if you want to do such a thing then you'll need one more part of this what of this selection sql and that's what we call a where so where it's where we put a condition and specify exactly what we need what we need to access from what from the database so let's go ahead and see how we can do this where for example if i need to select um students or i mean if i need to select um if i need to select records which are having uh a specific name okay okay specific id maybe i want to select a record number five only so to do that you have to add a what a where so let's go ahead and do that you can just simply say select uh all from and then you specify the table practice where and then you specify the condition here this way specify the condition so maybe i want a student i mean a, a user whose age i mean whose whose id is four so what does it mean it means that this query is going to collect for me a user who has id for only okay who has id four or users who have id four so let me go ahead and copy that and then and run it here okay select everything and paste okay so let's go ahead and run it so when you run it you see we only got only one result here and this is a specific user that we the one that we asked for exactly the one that has come okay who has id for so only columns that uh, reach a specific condition they're the one that does what that uh, come okay so if you want more notes about where just simply come into where 
and then you'll be able to do what to get such a you will be able to get the uh specific what specific conditions so so i've select using a specific id so these are the things that we use these are the operations uh operators that we use in a where so this we use it for equal sign i mean for equal so if you want to select something that is exactly equal use this one exactly greater than we use this one less than we use this one less greater than or equal to less than or equal to less not equal and then we have here between then you have the like for searching and the in for specifying a specific bracket so we're going to to practice each one of these and maybe by the time we finish then we'll have understood how we can practice with, uh, any of them for example i've already practiced this one but let's go ahead again and practice a uh, it the equal sign so if i want to select maybe a user who has a my who has my name okay so i can just simply say select all from practice where uh use i mean where name equals and then if it is a string still you have to surround it what with single quotes then you put mohindo mubarak like this so if this user if there is any user who has a name of this kind then it will be coming i mean it'll be showing okay all those users will be showing so let's go ahead and run this sql paste there press control and enter you can see we have one particular user who has this name okay so after doing that so that's how we write a where condition <laughs> i think we'll begin from there in the next video whereby we're going to look at these remaining conditions that we can use to write the where how we can use to check the greater than the less than the less than or equal to greater than and not equal to the like and the in let us look at those ones in the next video because this video has been too long okay so i hope uh you have practiced up this point don't just watch but watch as you do it watch as you practice so you can as well change this where and play with it in different ways so in the next video you're going to start straight from there and then you look at these remaining ways of how we can uh, write the where what the where condition so i hope uh you will be part of that video i hope you have already subscribed to my youtube channel and i hope you've already activated that bell so that we can always be get you always you should always get the what the notification when i post a new video okay and uh, have a great day we meet in the next video goodbye